All right, so let's start it right from the beginning. I'm going to start so, it. This is a recording. Pedophile. Yeah, yeah. Basically, so, Mark's um, a... Go ahead. Go ahead. All you, brother. Go ahead. All right, so I'm from America. I'm from New York. I'm in England. Been fighting in England for five years, fight all over the world. And uh, in England, it's a cultural thing for people to call each other a nonce. A nonce means not of normal criminal element. A nonce is a child molester, a sex offender. You will hear it at the pub if someone has a disagreement over a pint. Oh, that fucking nonce didn't give me my black and fucking Guinness or whatever. It's what they do. They don't shut the fuck up. All they do is talk. So they've been saying me and the owners of BKB are nonces. They say that everyone, everyone in this country says everyone else is a nonce. I'm from America. I've done prison time. You don't accuse someone of being a snitch or a child molester without actual documented proof or you're going to get fucked up. But over here, nobody does anything. It's all talk, so it's different. Um, I had an issue with this guy, Scott Midgley, who I beat up on BKB a while back. I beat him up. He got fired. Me and him have had drama ever since for three years. He's called the home office on me. He's called the council. He tried to call the police, tried to say that I'm an Islamic terrorist, Photoshop my face onto some Islamic meme that was pretty well done. Um, so me and him were supposed to have a straightener, meet up and fight one-on-one. -on -one. Guy talks shit 24-7. In England, I, I don't drive because I don't navigate they, they, the roads and the roundabouts well. So my girl drives or my... My friends drive or whoever. I don't drive. Midgley lives four hours away. So I told him, you want to fight? Come to my gym. We can handle it. Never showed up. Just talks tons of shit. Insults my sister on Facebook, everything. So I went on his Instagram because he has me blocked. And I admit it to everybody. He's got a picture of his little daughter up there, 11, doing a split. And I said, winky face, let me save that for later. I wanted to upset him. Because then maybe he would come meet me and I could fucking break his neck. He never met me to break his neck. I said something to fucking upset him like he's been saying, talking shit to me. And that's all it was. God beer must have been high on fucking cocaine and ketamine and fucking tequila for about a week. And for some reason, he took that and he ran with it, started talking shit about me. And bang, we ended up having words. And yeah, so that's that covers the pedophile part. I have a I have as an American, every American who's ever been arrested or convicted, you can see through a freedom of information law, FOIL request, what anyone's record is. It'll always say what you've been arrested for and what you've been convicted of and what you've done any jail time of. Look me up, Eric S. Olson. My prison DIN number was 05A3802. There's no sex offense cases. And I, how could I get into all these countries? Holland, Serbia. Poland, England, Thailand, Germany. I mean, this is where I train. This is where I fight. You can't if you're a sex offender. Just like you can't. It, it doesn't make sense what they're saying. So they do you that shit deported. just for attention. Uh, you yeah. would be deported, yes. correct? Well, you, you wouldn't get in. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, I'm yeah, saying, I wouldn't, where you would, I wouldn't no, have wouldn't gotten be Sorry, no, go I wouldn't ahead. be go here if I had sex offenses. You wouldn't even be able to be somewhere if you're a sex offender. You can't travel with that. Countries will deny your entry. I have issues getting into like Canada and Australia because I'm a convicted felon. Other countries don't care about it. Other countries want 10 years go by, whether you've robbed a fucking bank or you um, blew up someone's car or you busted someone's head. You can give a reason and pull a lapse and they'll, they'll consider letting you in. Usually, if you're a murderer or you're a fucking sex offender and you've got that on your record, you're not going to get into another fucking foreign country. They're not literally letting documented fucking killers and rapists in. So that's all there is to it. And again, that can be looked up on a freedom of information law request. Anyone's rap sheet. You can spend twenty five ninety nine and download a fucking um, one of those fact finder background check things and find out. You see all my arrests ever. You see all my convictions ever, and you'll never see any fucking cooperation with the fucking local law enforcement on my end, and you'll never see any fucking ridiculous crimes like I fucking was a child molester. 
So I'm not concerned about it. They talk shit. And when like someone will message me talking shit about it at three in the morning, I'll tell them, yeah, uh huh. Just because if you're going to be dumb enough to believe it, then I'm going to be, well, then do something about it. If you think I'm a child molester, then fucking do it, bitch. Do something about it, motherfucker. Because if that's what you believe and you're not doing anything, then you're fucking punk. So that's that. That's how that came about. It's just a thing they do here. They talk endlessly about nonsense. Okay. So just so my viewers are clear, you've never, ever harmed uh, any children. You don't you don't mess around with none of that. You literally did this as a bait tactic to try to get not yeah. even God here, uh, Scott, correct? Scott, They're trying to get the other guy yeah. to fight? I see yeah, I wanted him to fucking have a... Yeah. yeah. I've seen the comment. I don't deny it. I, I know, I know. Yeah, I, 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 I tell the truth about everything. I asked you about it. You told me right out. You sent me the screenshot. This is exactly what I did. You, you know, I mean, yeah. as knuckle up as me, I don't condone it. I don't support it, but I understand why you were trying to do what you were trying to do with it. Um, here's what I will say. I watched God Beer document this on video. I watched the first video of him saying he's outside your house or your training facility or whatever it was, and you're he by himself. There was nobody there. Um, and then I saw the video you sent me. Do you want to explain the video? Well, before I share the video, do you want to explain the video a little bit? All right. Yep. I'll explain the video. Um, and again, I have for everyone listening, because a lot of these English are not smart. They're very slow, stupid, cave-dwelling oh. people. Um, oh, my God. In, inbred motherfuckers. Um, I'll, I'll break this down for you. godbeer has been arguing with me forever. A few other people, too, but we're going to leave their names out of it. I told him last Friday, I leave for Poland Saturday on the 23rd at 5 in the morning. I'm not meeting you tonight. I'm watching fucking Married at First Sight in Australia eating Frutella on the couch. Fuck you. You want to fight with me? We can fight next week when I'm back. Tuesday, I'm back. Meet me at this gym Wednesday at 5 o'clock. I tell him this three times. He keeps saying, you're not giving me the address. I said, I just gave you the address three times, you stupid motherfucker. We keep arguing. Married at First Sight is going off. My fruit teller, I want to enjoy it. So I told him again, and I block him on Messenger. So he can't message me. He can still see my page, but he can't message me. About 45, 50 minutes later, I get a message from uh, Scott uh, McHugh, a fighter from BKB who's up in lead. He's like, Eric, what's going on? Mark's at your gym. I said, what? And I go on my phone. I look. I'm eating my frutella. I pause married at first sight in Australia. And Mark's sitting in a car trying to string words together to form a sentence saying he drove three and a half hours alone with five grand to a gym. Okay. Now, you stupid motherfucker. I told you three times, and I have the screenshots on each one, that I will be there Wednesday. Why are you coming on Friday when you know I'm not there? You're doing it because you're trying to fucking, you're, you're 45 years old, and you're acting like a 12-year-old? What are you doing? Stop it. So he, he makes this big, long video. In England, nobody does anything but fuck their sisters and talk. They're all inbred cave creatures, and they talk. So he's got all these people now. Yeah, that's right, brother. Oi, bro. Yeah, bro. You drove. Yeah, bro. You're real. Okay. You drove a car. Who gives a fuck? Um, and, and he says, I'm not there, and I'm a coward. Great. Again, I'm enjoying Married at First Sight. I got a plane to catch early in the morning, and I'm eating my frutella. And uh, that was that. I laughed, and I said, well, during a pandemic, I don't know why he'd show up at a gym that you know nobody's there, but great. Cool. Um, about 35 minutes later, I go upstairs, I'm flossing, brushing my teeth, and I hear pounding on the door. Now, I know because of all the police contact what it sounds like when someone's coming to try to be aggressive. It's not the nice little knock you're going to get from the UPS man delivering you a package. Someone wants to be aggressive, or they think they want to be aggressive. They're going to, you're going to, they're going to pound a certain way. So I'm up there. I hear it. And I hear his big, stupid voice because the motherfucker sounds like Shrek. <laughs> um, he's yelling at the street. My girlfriend is in the window talk, telling him, what are you doing? I don't need to hear anymore. I got this. I, I, I'm getting my shoes on while I'm hearing it. 
I get my one blade and because they don't have guns over here, get my fucking other one. Um, I put my dog, which is an Akita, good guard dogs on, on her harness and he's talking shit in the street. He didn't think I was here. He came to this house trying to terrorize a mother, a 30 year old mother that is an eight year old child and a 10 year old kid yelling. I don't know that he's got people with him or weapons. I don't care. Never do care. I open the door. The dog is ready to go. Zug Zug's ready to eat somebody. And my knives are always fucking sharp. I sharpen these motherfuckers like I'm Freddy Krueger hunting for fucking school kids. What was it? Um, <laughs> he looks at me. He sees me coming. This is the video you see because it's on CCTV. Yes. His two friends, he's got two people with him and he's got weapons. They've got a, they've got a hurling club. One has a, a machete and Mark has an expandable metal baton. Mark looks at me and he looks like he's seen a ghost because Mark's not real. Mark's in a mental case. It's why he does so many drugs because he just is one of those guys that like is constantly uh, fucked up and, and just has no self-esteem. I get out in the street. My dog's going ballistic. There's my dog now. I don't know oh, if you wow. can see her. Oh, but, we can uh, see her. We can see her. Yeah. So she's not small. She's about 65 pounds at nine months old. It's not a boy Akita, but a girl Akita will still bite your dick off and bite your hands off. And while she's biting you up, I'm going to take this blade and I'm going to put it directly through your neck and I'm going to saw your fucking head off. And then I'm going to get your little friends who tagged along with you. So I back them down. This is all on video. You see me walking them down on the video. They run. Big, I, big six foot five, 120 kilograms, 265 pound Mark Godbeer, ex UFC fighter who got beat up by Czech Congo, is getting chased. Him and his two friends who have weapons are getting chased by a nine month old Akita and me, a six foot tall, usually 185 pound fighter who's beaten way too much Nutella and fucking Frutella and is too fat right now with my blade, <laughs> chasing them down the street. Now, that's the video you saw. There's a second video. Mark claims that I used uh, CGI to edit the video. Because remember, Mark said he came alone for a straightener. Yes. And he didn't have any weapons. Well, the, vi the video shows you have two people, so three people. He even heard hearing in the video yelling at my girl while I'm putting my shoes on and putting the harness on the dog. This is Mark Godbeer. You tell him I know where he lives. I'm not. Now I'm gonna play with him. You ain't playing with nobody, motherfucker. Not me. You ain't. What was it? Um, he didn't know I was here. He was trying to do a 45 year old man with his two fucking adult friends was trying to make some Facebook clout video. Like you went to my house and I was scared to come out. You didn't think I was there. That's why you came here. And and you're you're trying to fucking argue and and fight with my girlfriend who's got kids in here. So you're, you're basically risking your life because, again, Mark and his people, they're not killers. They don't kill people. Where I'm from, people kill people. 13-year-old kids shoot you in the street in Roosevelt, New York, over the color of your shoes. It happens you know, with fucking automatic fucking pistols, sword offs. They shoot your house up if you have a problem. What was it? So I'm not looking to fight you if you're out here. I'm looking to murder you. So over your stupid video, you just put your life in fucking... In, in, on the chopping block, motherfucker. So I, I, I come out there, he runs away. Later down the video, you don't see it, it's not on camera, they try to surround me, all three of them, they bum rush me. One tries to take my head off with the club, but they don't want to get too close because the dog's lunging up, trying to bite everybody, and I still got my blade. So I retreat, I run back, and I go into my front yard, because what do you do if you're in an open space? You're going to get surrounded. Now, me being the tactical genius that I am, what was it like King Leonidas in the 300? I know that if I go into my, my front yard, they've got to come through the fence. And the front yard is like a foot away from the door. So the doorway and, and, and the front, the gate, three now have to turn into one. In the second video, you hear a lot of commotion. She's screaming because she's right above us. I'm swinging, the dog's jumping, but they're not coming in. 
They don't want to go in one on one because now it's me and the dog and the knife versus one of them. They only want the advantage. That's why they brought numbers and weapons. And uh, yeah, so I almost got one, but he got away. I chased him back out in the street and they ended up running away, talking shit and getting in the car. Enter the police. I never called the police in my life. You see in the video, and I'm going to post a video once I'm not blocked on Facebook. I'm blocked for five more days. It sounds like something from Braveheart going on in the middle of a town that looks like it's out of fucking Harry Potter. Everybody and their fucking mother and fucking Winston Churchill woke up from the grave, was in their windows watching. You got this guy calling the cops. He called the cops. The next door neighbors called the cops. My other next door neighbors called the cops. I didn't call the police. Put it like this. I don't care what anyone thinks about me anyway. I'm just saying it because it's factual. Everything with me is fact. I don't have an ego. I'm already, I don't care what people say or think. If I do something, I'm going to admit it because that's just the way I am. So uh, if I called the cops, I would have admitted it. I didn't. The cops came and, you know, they heard in the exchange, they heard this idiot. You hear it on the video. I'm Mark Godbeer. They asked me, did Mark heard- Godbeer come to your house? She had said, yeah, there was a bunch of a melee in the street. At the end of the day, nobody got arrested because they asked me, do you want to press charges? I said, no. Does she want to press charges? She said, no, we don't talk to the police, leave. He never got arrested. If we wanted to have him arrested, they would have gotten the video. They would have gotten, they would have, yes, I want to have Mark, yeah, and they would have been arrested. Never happened. So, I was about to say, on the video, Mark is just a compulsive liar. On the video you sent me, you can hear clear as day. No, go ahead. You can hear clear as day, Mark Godbeer say, I, it's Mark Godbeer, tell him, I know, what you, you hear that, that's why I was like, what the hell is, and you see the people, you see you come out, you hear you yell, you came here to fuck with me, you know, something like that, Um, and, and, and you see the video, that's why I was so eager to have you on here, because I felt like there was more to your side of the story that just wasn't being told enough. Yeah, um... He came to a girl's house when he thought her boyfriend was gone to try to have a straightener. No, you came with three people and weapons to jump somebody because you're a pussy. Hey, listen, you want to fight me with weapons? I love it. We can both agree to take a knife or a fucking club and go to a field and be like Spartacus in the ancient Roman arena. We can bring the dog and, 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 and lock it to a tree. And the loser gets eaten by the motherfucker. I love that shit. I fucking grew up in New York. I grew up incarcerated in fucking adolescent youth homes, in prisons, in jails, gladiator schools, where you fight hand to hand or you fight gun to gun, knife to knife, with a fucking sweatshirt wrapped around your arm because your toothbrush doesn't pierce that if you can block with it. I love it. So what do you want? You know, he didn't come for that, though. He came to intimidate my girl. And he didn't care that it was a female and he didn't care that they were fucking kids. And he came in the event that if they did find me, they planned on people will go as far as you let them. What I mean by that is if I was scared and I stuck my head out the door, oh, please leave. They would have gotten aggressive. But because I believe in shock and awe, I'm coming out guns blazing, suicide commando, fuck you up style. I'm, I'm ready to fight. They ran. Because they have no heart. They have no balls. They have vaginas in between their legs. And they ran. And it's all on video for safe. You have shamed your family and your fucking name. Picture that. 500 years of English people named Godbeer. And he just totally destroys the fucking lineage and the reputation. You absolute pussy. And that's that. And I'm going to plaster it all over the place. And that's that's all there is to it. Um, the CCTV is all over this block, you know. So, you know, if, listen, I tell everybody, I talk a lot of shit. I got fights coming up. I talk shit about my opponents. I don't like a lot of people. I do my own thing. I don't do it for attention. I do it because I feel that way. And I tell everybody this. I'm, in a, I'm a foreigner in a foreign country. At no point am I going to come to you. I don't care enough. I want to eat my frutella and watch my marriage at first sight in Australia and watch other things. I don't care. I like annoying people, but I don't care about you. If you were in New York and you annoyed me, yeah, then maybe I'd come do something, but you're not. So I know that if I come to you, I'm going to get deported. But 
if anything I've said offends you that much that you need to write me death threat paragraphs at 3 a.m., well, then come get me. Now, in the past, I've given out the address, which wasn't cool on my part because my girl and her kids live here. And two people, two 16-year-olds drove by and threw bricks through the windows and they, run away, they rode away before I could get outside. This is the mentality you're dealing with. Scared people who can't deal with the fact someone's checking them. So they do sneaky things. They throw bricks and run. They come with three people and knives and weapons. Mark's an ex-UFC, six foot five, 265 pound heavyweight. And you're running from me. And my dog, while you well, listen, if I wanted to kill somebody and I was there with weapons and two people, I don't give a fuck if you came out with a lion. One of us is dying and I got the numbers and we'll see what's up. So that's that. And then that's the whole story. And, and I have proof. I'm, I'm like a lawyer because I've been in court so much in my life. I document everything. You said this at this time. I said this at this time. I don't need to lie about anything. Uh, you did this, I reacted with this, or I did this, and I'll, and I'll admit it. I'm proud of shit that I've done that people don't think I should be proud of. I'm not going to sit here and fucking deny anything, ever. He talked shit, I talked shit, it got his fucking feelings hurt. 45-year-old man in a fucking ketamine, fucking middle of a ketamine and cocaine addiction, can't stand the fact that somebody stood up to him online who gives a fuck, and he tried to terrorize fucking a household that had kids and a girl in it, but he did it not thinking I was there. Again, he did this on Friday after I told him Wednesday. So you knew it was Wednesday to have your fair fight. He also got out of having a fair fight because I'm not fighting Mark Fair now. There's, I can't trust Mark. He doesn't, he's a Judas. He doesn't deserve to have a fucking fight. Whatever comes of that comes of it. Whatever happens, happens. But I'm not fucking meeting Mark for a fair fight. Yeah, yeah Mark, I'll fight be fair. Want to meet up? If you believe that, you're stupider than you sound. I'll be there, but <laughs> there ain't even going to be nothing fair about it. What was it? You, you came to my girl's residence and you tried to terrorize people. So now we're, 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 we're out of any fair fight type of mentality. And that's that. And that's the history of Mark Godbeer. For any fight companies that are thinking about employing him or using him, when people want to use the motto of uh, like, you know, a lot of these companies, martial artists, martial arts, blah, 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 this, that, this, that, this. The guy literally, again, went to a house where he thought the man of the house was gone and tried to get loud and threatening to a woman that is an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old. That's the caliber of Mark Godbeer. Oh, it gets worse. The caliber of Mark Godbeer is when the guy comes out, he runs like a fucking bitch. And everything's on fucking video. I'm like fucking Columbo with this fucking videos. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, um, that is, like I said, I heard it last night when I was talking to you. I wanted to get out of it. Um, let's talk a little bit about your upcoming fights. You said you've got fights coming up, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, let's talk about it. So, Poland. I've been, I've been branching out and invading Poland a lot lately, so... I fought in something called Latoria. Are you familiar with it? Uh, isn't that the one Jason Mayhem Miller messed up with uh, over there in Italy? What's it called? No. No, no, no. This is in Poland. Oh, okay, in Poland. So, no, Latoria was a – it's a Valtudo's MMA tournament. No weight class, no time limits, full headbutts, heel stomps. It's like 1990s MMA. You fight three times in one night. You win $15,000. Well – I got put against, I'm not the best grappler. I can grapple, but not against like legitimate MMA grapplers that are brown belts and Olympic level wrestlers. Against Mark Godbeer, yes, I will single leg him into a high crotch and put him on his fucking skull. But not <laughs> an actual guy who's like, like a Brazilian or a fucking Polish kid who's a brown belt and has MMA. I got put against this guy, Adam. We had the fight. He ended up catching me in a submission pretty early. He caught me cool. So I got out of the tournament. Well, Poland has bare knuckle boxing promotions. Now, I'm only allowed in England to the end of fucking February. My six months is up and I need to leave for two to three months. So you can only stay six months at a time in England with an American passport. I don't have a visa. And then you um, got to leave for two to three months. So I'm going to Poland to fight bare knuckle boxing in Gromda 
G-R-O-M-D-A dot TV. Um, and that's not going to get in the way of any English fights because I can't be in England for the next lockdown show. You know what I'm saying? So I keep my money coming in through fighting all over the world. I'm fighting in Poland one week. I'm fighting in England the next week. I'm fighting in Thailand another week after that. Then I go to the Balkans, Serbia with Vasil Bukotovic, and I train with him, and I live there for two or three months. So, or Germany, UFD gym with fucking um, uh, Glacian Tabau, who's one of the instructors there. So I'm all over. Um, that's my next two fights. So there's two. There's Gromda, which is bare-knuckle boxing, no weight class. Um, they, they, they have a draw. So you just get matched the day you fight. You don't know who you're going to fight. They just draw it four two-minute rounds. And if nobody wins or nobody loses, then you fight for until somebody drops. Um, and, and, and then there's, a, there's another one called The Fight in Poland. And they're setting it up for their first event for April. It's three versus three. Two teams of three people with bare-knuckle boxing and elbows. So I'm going to be involved wow. in that as well in April. Um, and then... There's going to be a gloved fight here in England between me and a local boxer by the name of John D.P. Shaw, who me and him have massive bad blood. Uh, but that's just going to be what it is. Like, we're going to fight when we get, you know, everything in England's kind of shut down and locked down. And a lot of smaller shows, like the show Matt Show, um, who we're going to fight, fight on, like, they can't afford to do, like, a no people there, you know? So that's that. Oh, and then I've been in talks with United African MMA in Ethiopia. So they're going to get me on that card in September 2021 when their cards start running again. So I'll be going to uh, Ethiopia to fight MMA over there. So, yeah. Well, you're very active, man. You don't take a break, do you? Jeez. Nope. I I fight three times in one month and usually win them fucking things. Um, I fight like – my thing is this. If I'm not injured, why not fight? I don't need, listen, when you stay active in training, when I'm in Germany, I'm tra training with Glacian Tabau. Do you know who that is? Yeah, yeah, I'm very familiar with him. UFC fighter, yeah. right? Yeah. He, yeah, UFC guy who fucking fought Khabib to a very close fight that a lot say he won. Khabib couldn't take yeah. him down. He's there head and struck with the jiu-jitsu over there. I'm there for three months. And then I'm here with Michael Canelli who's a gold medalist in the ABAs and um, fucking then in the military boxing over here. The guy was legitimate and ready to go pro. He's my boxing coach. The only problem I ever, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs ever. I just eat too fucking much. So my weight goes fucking to like 250 pounds. So a lot of the times I'm taking fights at heavyweight or light heavyweight at 205, or I'm taking these open division fights where there's no weight. That's my biggest problem. I'm still running my five miles every other day or every day, sprints, five miles, and then boxing and then powerlifting and hit training and then jujitsu when I'm in this area. And, you know, so I, I don't have any injuries. So why not stay active and fight everybody in the fucking world? Fight in the middle of my street with my dog. If I have to. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, like, so, you know, that's that. Um, this, that, that's, that's the deal with the fights coming up. Um, and I, I basically, that's all I do now. Like when I was back in New York, that's not all I did. And in my youth and past, that's not all I did, but it's all I do now, unless some door with three and then I'd do something else. So that's that. This whole thing, I wasn't even going to release the footage originally because I didn't care. And then this idiot starts posting all these fake fictitious stories like, Saying that I edited the video. What did I edit, Mark? CGI? Did I did I add two guys in? Did I did I add the weapons in your hand? Oh, some people say that it was weak that I ran to the front yard. Okay, so check it out. I come out. I back everyone up, as you see, 50 feet. You have all this time to attack me. Nobody does shit. They run away. I cut to the side, which you don't see because the video was about 30 hours long. I had to condense it. And off camera, you both you all rush me. Most people wouldn't have even went outside with an ex-UFC heavyweight there. They would have sit in their fucking house, called the cops, and used that as an excuse. I ain't most people. And when they when they were trying to surround me, I honestly listen. 
My dog was what I was concerned about because, yeah, she'll fuck someone up, but she's still a puppy. She'll hurt you if she bites you in the hand. But if she got hurt, I would. That's what I wanted to get back for because I don't me whatever. It's her that I was worried. So yes, I retreated back to the gate. It's a fucking tactical situation. You got three stupid motherfuckers. One who's a giant with a kubitz with a metal club trying to hit you. How am I supposed to fight three people at once from front, left, and right? You're not. Yes, I, I admit it. It's not on the video, but I, I admit that I retreated to the front yard to make them come in one at a time. I don't think that makes me soft. And even if it was on the video, because the video, you don't see a lot of the stuff behind the cars and in the front yard. You can't see any. You just hear it. I would have left it fucking. What, it doesn't matter to me. There's no embarrassment there for me. I don't understand what he means. I edited it to make him look bad. Mark, you look bad because you came to a girl's house with two guys and weapons. If I, if I had come out in the street and said, leave, and they attacked me and I ran away, could anyone blame me against three guys, one that big? No, but I wouldn't do that. It's not, it's not the way I'm genetically made up. I'm not Mark. I don't run. I don't sprint. Um, I think Mark's from Ethiopia with the way he fucking sprinted down the block. i never seen a big motherfucker move so far. <laughs> so, you know, like he, he's saying right, that yeah. people are saying, so go ahead. I'm sorry. In hindsight, looking back on the whole situation, if you could remove the comment on his daughter's picture, would you do that now? No. No. No, fuck no. him. No, no, fuck no. him. No. <laughs> remove nothing. I'm sorry for nothing. I remove nothing. Scott, And that wasn't on his picture. That was on Scott's picture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I mean, yeah. Scott's been insulting my sister for three years online, calling her fat, this and that, American. So, yo, if I see you, I'm killing you. I'm stabbing you the fuck up if I see you. We ain't fighting fair. If you meet me at the gym, we'll fight fair. But guess what? You're a, you're a nobody. You can't even box, let alone wrestle. I grew up first grade to 10th, collegiate wrestling. I can wrestle when you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to put you in a neck crank, and I'm not letting go. Or I'm going to put you in a heel hook, and I'm not letting go. Or I'm going to put you in an anaconda choke, and I am not letting go. And then I'm going to start to bite chunks of your face out. And let whoever you brought with you fucking try to get me off. Because the moment they do, I really don't care. Let them kick and punch. And I'm, you're going to break and die in my arms. Then I'm going to pick up a weight and I'm going to put it through your fucking face. Done this shit before a hundred times over. So whatever to me. What was it? Um, No, I wouldn't say anything because they provoke. They want to play. It's all there. I fight. I'm not coming to meet anybody in a, in a situation. If you don't like me, you know where I train. If you want to show up where I train, you'll get a fair fight. If you come anywhere near me when I'm on my runs through town, it's not fair. And you don't know what I have on. I, I, I'm I not English. In my world, everything isn't handled with the fists. If this was New York, he would have been shot with his friends. And he would have been lucky if I shot him in his face. Because I probably would have been evil and shot him in his fucking groin and his legs. And then kicked his fucking head in. Or let my dog fucking eat his fucking throat and face. And I am not talking that shit for effect i'm meaning that you come to my fucking residence where people are at that i care about and love i'm <laughs> he's there's no guns here back in new york i got an ak that's illegal i admit it prove it don't know where it is i got a sort off 20 gauge again i didn't buy that shit at the hunting store that's in fucking bushwick brooklyn motherfucker and a 38 snub prove it to any of the cops who don't like what the fuck I'm saying. You ain't going to find it on me now, and you don't know where it is back in New York. But if you come to my residence back there, I'd have fucking executed you. Simple. Here, all I got is my blades, so I go out with my knife. I'm trying to fucking be Vlad the Impaler. Silly shit. Like, it made me miss my fucking married at first sight in Australia. But I had to rewind <laughs> the fucking episode. I'm going to really have to check this I'm show out. Fuck. You've been telling me it for two days. You've been telling me two days now. Watch this show. I'm going to have to check it out. Listen, I'm not a tough guy. I don't consider myself a tough guy. I just don't tolerate disrespect. I, at this stage in my life, am not involved in any of the things I used to be involved in that I made money with. I fight. And I watch EastEnders with my girlfriend and hang out with her kids. And I walk my dog. And I go for runs. And I train. And I talk shit about other people I'm going to fight who talk shit about me. I'm going to Poland and I'm talking shit about all the Polish soccer hooligan skinhead gangs. And they're all messaging me, telling me I won't leave Poland alive. All right. Prove it, motherfucker. 
You won't be, you'll be drinking your pierogies through a straw. You try it. So like, <laughs> um, yeah. And that's just that I'm, I'm not looking for any conflict with anybody, but if, but I, I also, you know, don't shy away from it. Oh, I'm going to be fighting Anthony Holmes here in England at some point at 205 pounds for a BKB heavyweight title. Oh, um, but yeah, that, that, that fight has been put off for a year because the coronavirus has not permitted any shows to happen. And because the show's happening then this month and that month, then Anthony fucking was ready. Then I wasn't ready. Then my weight was too high. Then Anthony hurt his back doing some marathons. So then it's like two, two months told for a last minute fight. It's a seven round bare knuckle boxing fight that we both earned. I mean, I, I've been fighting here for five years, so we're going to do that in the future. That's still on, but it just has to come down to fucking when, because I got to stay active. You know, BKB does same day weigh-ins. So you can't I, cut I, any weight. Like, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. BKB does same day weigh-ins for their shows. So you, it's not like when I fought on Bellator, it's not an open weight category like Watori. It's not like amateur or professional boxing or kickboxing where you get the day before weigh-in. So I need to be walking around at, you know, uh, 200 pounds for a 205 fight so I don't have to cut out any water. Um, and that's just it, you know. So I gotta, I'm got i in the process of bringing my weight down. I'm down to like 230, down from 250. So fucking too much fucking steroids and fucking eating frutella. The food sucks in it. Yeah. What the is what is Frutella? I know what Nutella is. What is Frutella? No, no. Frutella is like their version of like Skittles, like in a big like Laffy Taffy. It's really juicy. And I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. So I eat. I I my pro. I used to fight it. I fought it every weight from like 185 to 168. 250. I mean, I have 87, 88, 89 fights, whichever one it is, for my amateur and my pro career everywhere. Um, that's my biggest issue is my, is my weight. Like, it just goes up and down too much. You know, it's getting better now. I've got my diet more under control. Frutella obviously isn't on it, but whatever. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, it's, I'll go for my five mile runs, I'll do my fucking strength and conditioning. It's just matter to my diet ultimately, but you know I'm always staying active and fighting. So the point of me saying all this is, people say I try to say I'm a gangster. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I, I'm not anything. I'm just me. I'm not good. I'm not bad. I'm just here. I'm just me. I I read my books. I watch my programs that I like. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned Married at First Sight Australia. Um, <laughs> I listen to the music the music that I like and I set up fights all over the world and I travel there alone and I fight and everybody else seems to get this other fucking opinion of me, but enjoy being an agonistic person. I like annoying people. And if someone shows me emotional weakness and attacks me in the process, if you write me a message, a messenger on Instagram or something and you insulting me and I see it and I know that I can do something to bother you, I'll do it. A lot of things people don't like over here, right? What, what happens is like, I get these family men, these guys that are drunk, fat motherfuckers, never fought in their life. They got a million pictures of five-year-old kids, three-year-old kids. They message me how they'll kill me. They'll smash my face and I can't fight. I take the picture of their children and I send it to them. And they say, what is that? Why are you sending me my kids? And I said, well, you're a family guy. Be a family guy. I'm out here in the frozen tundra weather running five to fucking six miles. You're not. You're watching Peppa Pig with your fucking three-week-old three fucking kid. I'm out here running fucking five miles, resting a few hours, and then going and doing fucking two hours of boxing in the sub-zero Arctic temperature that's Birmingham fucking England in a gym that doesn't have heat. And then I'm doing my deadlifts and squats. You're not. You're sitting there probably watching Married at First Sight Australia, eating Frutella with your five-year-old kid. So, you know, like, don't message me shit. 
because I'll do it. And, and they get mad. Oh, you're a nonce. You're a sex offender. You sent me my kid. It's all over your Facebook, stupid. That's your fucking perception to the world. You're a family man. So be a family man, because if you fuck with me, your kid will grow up without a parent. That's just simple. And, and people get so mad about the things I say, like, I'm set to fight this guy. His fans will talk shit. You know, I was set to fight Anthony Holmes last year, and his fans are saying they're going to roll up to where I'm at because I'm a yank and smash my face in. Well, I inboxed each of those people when I was up in their town, and I told them the apartment I was at. You want to roll up here? Do it. Nobody turned up. <laughs> but why say it? And then I told them all, I made fun of their inbred children. I said, your kids all look inbred. The girl you look at fucking looks like it's your sister. You're threatening to hurt me because I'm fighting your friend from your town. And then you're going to cry when I talk shit. Well, fuck you. And that's that. And that's that is it and sums it up. And it's never going to stop. You know, I'm never going to stop doing that to people. Um, if I'm out shopping in America or here and someone bumps into me, excuse me. If they get aggressive with me, I'll probably laugh and walk away. If they pursue it and I'm in a bad state of mind, you might die. And I might get fucking 50 years in prison. It's fucked up, but it is the way it is. Um, if you're going to take the time out of your day to write me an insulting message, then I'm going to take the time out of my day to write one back. And if I see you start getting angry, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to keep breaking your fucking little balls. There you have it. There you have it. Well, Eric, I got to tell you, man, I'm more than happy that you came on here. I wanted to get your side of the story. I felt like, felt like there's a story there. Listen, your upcoming fights, hit me up. We'll announce them for you. Give me some promotion. Let you know when the fights are coming. Uh, Thank you very much. You and, uh, hopefully you and God here can figure this uh, thing out without one of you going to jail or one of you getting hurt. Um, <laughs> I, want to, I want to make a public statement really quickly. Just because we're in England and they're very different than America, I, Eric S. Olson, in no way, shape, or form, plan on harming Mark Godbeer physically unless he comes near me. I will not go to your address, Mark. I'm not going to fucking hunt you down. I know where you live. I know the car you drive and all that. I'm, I can't get away with it here, and I'm going to say this. I'm not going to do it because I can't get away with it. If we were living in New York where there isn't CCTV on every house, You'd be dead, motherfucker. But we don't. So you're lucky. I'm going to let your drug addiction kill you. Your drug addiction is going to lead you to overdose on a bunch of ketamine, and I'm going to make memes about it and make fun of you. So that's that. I am not planning any type of retaliation. And that's it. If you come near my house or me, and I can get my hands on you, then whatever happens, happens. But if you don't, I'm not going to come looking for you. Don't worry, Mark. You're safe. You can stay in your closet sniffing your coke. And I've made your cocaine dealer a very rich man. He should be fucking PayPaling me some money. <laughs> thank you for having me on. No, man, thank, thanks for coming on, dude. Seriously, um, I, I try to keep this platform as a, a place for where, where fighters can speak. Every fighter, it doesn't matter who they are. You know, just because your opinion doesn't match thanks. what others. It, think. it matters a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, just because your opinion doesn't match what others think doesn't yeah. mean you shouldn't be allowed to speak. It, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that mindset. Not many people have it. Is that a uh, Dallas Cowboys jersey? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like them when they were when they crushed. I always bet on them against the fucking New York Giants. Uh, I fucking hate the New York Giants. <laughs> you are you are like, like an anti-hero, either. man. You lived in New York and you bet against the Giants. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mainly wear the fucking Raiders hat because it's gang associated, gang affiliated in East LA, and I listen to a lot of Ice fucking tea and, and all that, Ice Cube and all that. Um, uh, hell yeah, yeah, that's but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, all right, man. It was very nice speaking yeah. to you. Anything you want to talk about ever, let me know. Um, I'll keep you posted on the fights. And again, thank you very much for giving me a platform to share the facts. Yeah, yeah. No, man. Thank you for coming on, dude. Like I said. This is going to cause controversy, so <laughs> we'll see how this plays out, man. <laughs> good. All right, buddy. Thank you, Sean. Take it easy, Eric. Have a good one, man. Stay safe, brother. Hey. You too. Good night. Bye. See you, big dog.
I seen you talking about January 9th, dude. That's what I'm excited about. Tryouts, baby.